So today what we're doing is placing the air charger here. Can't really see it too well. Well, I guess you can. This huge hole right here causing an extreme leak. It's not getting enough air to the turbos. Air pressure is dropping. Air fuel ratio is getting off. It's just a problem altogether. Really not that hard to remove. You obviously has a condenser. It's placed in the front here. So you're just taking these little Torx heads off. I got the size over there. I'll go through them in a minute. And then this rubber cowling piece, you just remove this, this, this. There's another one right there. I already did the driver's side. I'm just going through now. Here, gonna have to remove these two that mount it to the actual radiator. When you take the nuts off the front here, there's places where it's spined in for the bolts that sit. And all that does is just hold this rubber piece on here. But whenever you try to take it off, if you don't remove this rubber, it's going to get stuck on that AC condenser. You don't rip that off because then you're going to blow mess everywhere. And there really not much to it at all. There's another little bolt that goes in right there. It's 15 millimeter. And then as far as these clamps, ideally it'd be a good time since you're already go ahead and taking them off to replace the actual rubber like hose clamps that you got held on here. But you can just remove these and break it loose from this side. And then once that's removed there and on the driver's side, all that's cleared out. Or I'm sorry, on the passenger side. Then over here on the driver's side, I just went ahead and removed the two bolts for the bracket that's holding it to the radiator. So you're gonna be pulling it up anyway. And the new one is over here in that box. So you gotta transfer it all over. Luckily, like with the coolant lines, they're out of the way. So we've already, like I said, we removed all those bolts and clips here from the condenser, move this out of the way. We've got to remove that last one down here, which it's out now, but that's the only the only thing holding it up. So you only want to take it out a little ways before, right before you take it out. And then what you're going to want to do is just pull straight up on this. Luckily, we got a forklift with long enough forks. We're just going to run a toe strap around here and on the other side, and then just pull it straight up. That way you don't have to worry about it catching or kinking, dragging stuff all over the place. So that rubber piece removed you can see what i was talking about these bolts just slide in there like that and then the nut itself tightens down on the rubber piece the ac condenser at this point it's it's loose too um i mean obviously you can take it you can take it off if you need to only problem you're gonna run into is you will have to drain all that out there's no sense in my situation to have to do that because then you spray that everywhere you got to put it back in so now, all it's gotta be done, finishing up right here, taking this clamp off, removing that pipe, and then that last 15 down in there, we'll break it loose. I'll go grab the strap, and we should be able to pull this thing out here in just a minute. So like I said, the last one we've got is that 15. I'm gonna go ahead and go grab that strap, loosen this up a little bit, and then get it pulled out of there.
Alright, so after the forklift drive there, got a little carried away, about ripped the whole fucking thing out. You can see that was what the whole issue is right here. That's where these fans are cracked. That air chamber itself is just blowing all that out of there. So let me... As you can see, everything's good. You just got to be extremely careful of the AC condenser. That's really the only thing. You do have to take... You have to take these little two tins loose right here. That way to pull the hose free so you can have room. All right. So obviously you can see this is the new one. The only things you've got to go through and switch out. Pretty simple, but like here, this is already in. Right here, this bracket. I got to take it off that one and just place it on here. And then get ready to go back in. it up and put it back where it goes hook it up and we'll be done all right so we back through Attach those bolts back in there. Put the nuts on the end of them. This is back on. Put the lines back in with these 10 millimeter nuts right here. I'm gonna go back through. Check these. They're 15s, just make sure that they're tight. Those down there, the 15s, they're in. So now all I gotta do is put these hoses back on. We should be about done. 